Welcome to Electric Felix at Fastnet Yet Fast with the very first HYC 400 from Alpitronic in the field. Achter in massage. Natuurlijk is er achter in massage man. Oh, massagestand. Kan ik ook de de avondsverwetering, de forte. Waarom is er geen knopje voor de stoelverwarming? Ja inderdaad, de kroon. Is allemaal de verkeerde. Ah. Is dit een goede? Nee. Is niet een goede. Kijk, 400 kilowatt. We only take the 400 kilowatt juice. 15% in the vehicle. Will it start preheating? I hope so. Oh, that's a good one. You can go for the speed. Oh, lucky. Mm, the water. Oh, the Alpitonic is in the middle. This is a terrible moment. Maybe we can, yeah, we can uh, reverse to the e golf and then we can make it. Look at this. This is fully automated. All right. Yes. And then this is still all manual. Fastest Alpitronic in the world. HIC 400. <laughs> you wanna you wanna end your life right there. I'll show you one more time. Fully automated doors and then fully manual doors. Oopsie. So as you can see this has changed because I don't think this was there before but maybe they I don't know what they did. I don't know. How the light will be in the evening. I have to come back one day. So I will show my BMW charging card. Select plug number five because this is plug number five. Will you plug it in, Hugo? For your birthday, birthday plug in, HIC 400, first time. Same plug as always. Phoenix contact. And you can see the sticker say 300 because Fastnet was putting this here in secret. But they will update the stickers, of course. Let's see what's going on. Unfortunately, we're connected next to an. Hey, this takes this takes longer to initialize than other Alpitronics I've tried on this trip the last days. I wonder why. Huh. What is happening? Wow, the sticker is beschadigd. Is the plug damaged? No. Wow, what is this? The e golf is successfully charging, so that's not the problem. Let's try again. Can you plug it in again, Nanda? Strange. Brand new. Battery reading. Ten percent, yeah. Normally after nineteen seconds it initializes with with the other model, but huh. Something is not right. That's weird. That's so sad. Ah, it takes a long time, but here we go. So it takes way more time than the 300 kilowatt model. So that's interesting. Uh, but yeah, this might be a prototype, even though it's out here in the wild, in the field, nearby Utrecht at Fasnet Jutvaas. And kaboom, 
of course we're not proving much because the e-golf is just taking 40 kilowatts so yeah uh, the old alpitronic would have done exactly the same but still good to see here we are doing 189 kilowatts after preheating the BMW on a short trip to Utrecht from Amsterdam. The e-Golf is still doing 39 kilowatts. Here you can see the full specs. And we're still ramping up. So even this Tesla is charging up at just 65 kilowatts. The ID3 is charging up at 41 kilowatts. And the Eagle probably still doing 30 something. Yeah, still doing 37. And we are ramping up to 196. Thank you, Alpitronic. The cooling when charging at nearly 200 kilowatts very calm especially compared to some competitor brands ah, yeah this cable is nice and warm and nice and long Now we have to hope that somebody else comes. We're gonna stop the charge because I hope to do some more 200 kilowatt charging when somebody arrives. So we did almost seven minutes and we're still pulling nearly 200 kilowatts. Time to stop. Yeah, so you cannot close this unless you close them all. But at least you can close it in one move. Yeah, I could see that uh, being full electric, please. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't notice that now Fastnet is offering card payments, even in these old ABB units. Pretty damn cool. On both sides? No, not on this side. Maybe it's a testing unit. Never seen it before. Well done. That's also one thing. No payment unit. So the ABB unit over there has a card payment unit. And the brand new Alpitronic over here doesn't have one yet. Of course it will come, but yeah, I would expect the 400 kilowatt machine to immediately feature card payment because it's such a future-proof necessity, in my opinion. Welcome to the limousine. <laughs> this is private cinema time. Alright, so the e-tron GT just plugged in with 12%, probably a warm battery because I think it's a pretty sporty driver. Let's see how long it takes to initialize. Ah, I hear some sounds, yes, we're up and running, boom, wow, this is fast, this ramp up to 240 kilowatts, oh, this is perfect, amazing, yeah. Time to plug in. 
So let's show my BMW card. Let's see what happens. No, it doesn't work. Now it works. None that plugs us in. Let's see how long it takes this time. Ah, I hear some sounds already. Very calm cooling even when it's doing high speed to the e-tron GT. A lot of clicking sounds everywhere. Wow, it takes such a long time to initialize the charge. Interesting. Ah, there we go. So now I'm very curious because the e-tron GT, no, 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 not yet, is uh, is taking 250 kilowatts around. It might be even more by now. So how much are we still doing? Okay, okay, okay. I like the look of this. It's not even limiting. Huh? Wait a second. What? This this math? Okay. So so we're doing fair share. It's fair share. Thanks Fastnet for the fair share. Unfortunately, the e-tron dropped in speed thanks to us, but both the vehicles can charge at 200 kilowatts live. We're only lacking five kilowatts in total to hit the 400 kilowatts from one charger. I have never seen this fast a charger in my whole life. Wow. 400 kilowatt charging is real everybody the e-tron gt plugged in with 240 plus kilowatt we connected the i7 afterward and apparently fastnet set the alpitronic hyc 400 to fair share which means that it will split the power if the vehicles are fast enough i will change my camera so here we are both doing 200 kilowatts uh, or well at least the BMW is almost hitting it but we were pulling 198 before uh, and of course um, yeah we are running on a 400 volt system and the e-tron GT is running on 800 volts so imagine that the machine can handle all this and with pretty much perfect efficiency as you can see it's just the output is insane this machine right now is simply delivering 400 kilowatts to two mega evs from germany holy cow look at this the i7 is still ramping up to the full 200 kilowatts and the e-tron gt is even taking a little bit more the machine s says it's delivering over 400 kilowatts right now wow albitronic you don't stop to amaze me Look out, so yeah the i7 cannot keep the 200 kilowatts uh, for a long time and as you can see the power sharing isn't optimal because now yeah it cannot give the extra kilowatts that we are not using to the e-tron unless we drop under 150 kilowatts then boom it will uh, unlock the free module we're simply so lucky to have this e-tron gt arriving here at random to do the full 400 kilowatts capability test even combining 800 volt platform over here and 400 volt platform over there both german evs so this is also interesting, after just 8 minutes of charging, the e-tron GT for some reason dropped to 150 and we seem to be running at higher charging speed, which doesn't make any sense. So is this the charger? Is this the vehicle? What is happening with this e-tron? It should still be able to ramp up. Um, I Maybe it's it's not actively cooling so maybe it's set to silent mode oh no what or maybe it's the wait the e-tron gt maybe it's the tiny maybe it has the tiny battery did we check it's maybe the tiny battery so i think 
The Obitronic charger is supposed to have active lights when charging, but yeah, this is this is some reflective tape. Don't know what's going on there exactly. And yeah, as you can see, the machine is now just doing 300 kilowatts. But for the BMW, this is completely normal to have 140 kilowatts um, after charging for 10 minutes. But for the e-tron, I don't get why there's hardly. I can hear some light cooling, but I think it's set to a silent mode that these German EVs can do, so you don't make too much noise when you're in, you know, when you're charging up in the street at a really fast charger nearby some uh, houses and stuff. But that doesn't make any sense because the guy was also saying that it didn't uh, go long enough on a charge for him. He needs to do a lot of kilometers, uh, and it's just not good enough for him. But I wonder if if it's just not if the fast charging settings are just not the right ones. Let's show you the charging interface at least. One hour to a full charge, which obviously nobody will ever do or should do. Seventeen degrees outside. Ah, finally, active cooling going on. Lots of hot air coming through the wheels. Still, it is charging at lower speed than we are, so the power of 800 volt is not really showing. Let's see, we're gonna stop this session because it's, it's been fun. Still pulling over 200 kilowatts together, which is very nice. Uh, it doesn't just scan the card. Yeah, it does scan the card and we'll stop the session after 15 minutes almost 16 Thank you yeah, I'll be exactly tonic 15, because it was, uh, Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. it has been running for so long before it actually started we only charged for 15 minutes Manual oopsie Thank you, BMW. Thank you, Alpitonic. Thank you, Fastnet. Thank you, Etron GT. Perfect timing.